Good morning, IPR. Um, I wanted to take a minute and um, show you how to do the activity that we have for today in IPR, which is um, the 8.38 playing the odds activity. So you're going to go to your IPR class um, on Schoology and you're going to click 8.38 playing the odds activity. Um, so once you click on that, um, you are able to read the directions. So it asks you to first download the attached mind map um, and then you're going to choose a word that you usually associate with a negative thought and type it in the center of the map. So I'm going to click this map here and download it. I'm going to click enable editing and now here is my Word document. I'm going to move my little head over there so you can see. Um, so here is what your map is going to look like, okay? Now you're supposed to pick a negative word to put in this center box here. So I have found some negative feeling words. So if you want to pause this video for a second and look at all of these negative words and choose one from this list, you could, or you could come up with your own negative word without the list. That's also fine. Um, so just pause this for a second and choose your word. My word that I chose was disappointed. So I'm going to come back to the mind map and in the center, I'm gonna click on the text box and I'm going to type my word disappointed into the center box. And you know what, if you want to, you don't have to do this, but you can like make it a different color. You can make it a different font if you want. You can make it bigger, however you wanna do it, okay? So there's my word in the center. Now, there are eight boxes that are directly um, in line with this center box here. So in these eight boxes, I'm going to choose words or feelings or things that make me feel disappointed. So my first example, I'm gonna just go ahead, I'm gonna put lose because I don't like losing. I, losing makes me very disappointed. So what are some things now with the word lose, I have three boxes that are immediately attached to this word. Now what makes me think of losing, okay? First thing that comes to mind is basketball. I do not like to lose basketball games. Um, as a coach, I didn't like to lose them as a player. Then over here in this box, what is something else that makes me think of losing? Um, winning, to be honest, like I don't, you know, I love winning. I think I love winning even more than I hate losing, right? Um, and then over here, I can choose something else. I'm gonna put board games. Sometimes you might have to like change the text box up a little bit so that you can read your whole word. Like even little things like board games, I don't like to lose even little things like that. Um, so there's one example. I've got all of those filled out. Now over here, I'm gonna keep going. It doesn't always have to be a feeling. Sometimes it can be a thing that disappoints you. So for example, COVID is disappointing, okay? Um, I'm over it. I'm sure a lot of you are over it as well. So COVID, why is it you know, disappointing to me? Well, it's making me think about all the concerts I'm missing out on. Um, COVID also makes me think of like shutdown, like restaurants being shut down, um, just like, people losing money in their businesses and things like that. It's disappointing. Um, and then COVID also though makes me feel oops, grateful um, because I am grateful for my health. I'm grateful that my family is safe um, for the time being, you know, like as of now, the people I know and love are, are healthy. So it does also make me feel grateful. So I'm going to continue to fill out all of these boxes with these words, okay? And then eventually, this was my finished product, okay? So in the center, again, I have the word disappointed, and all around, you'll see some of the different um, words that I have here, okay? So like, for example, um, I also put left out, okay? Being left out makes me disappointed, it, it makes me bored, it makes me lonely. But also, like, eventually I get over it and I'm like, you know what, this is uh, some extra time that I can just spend by myself doing whatever I want to do. So it's like me time as well. The point of this whole word map is um, to diffuse the negative thought and emotion 
and maybe not make it positive, but make it something um, along the lines of being positive or getting to a positive. So some of these words I actually did turn into a positive rather easily. Like for example, being ridiculed. Ridicule is something, being ridiculed is something that is really disappointing for me. It's, it's hard for everybody to be ridiculed, right? But at the same time, if I'm ridiculed for something that I'm doing, then it can also be a moment like something, I, I'm learning something, right? Um, it can also be a moment for growth or change. Like not all of being ridiculed is actually negative. Like sometimes you need to hear other people's opinions about things and take them to heart so that you can grow, you know? So like here's, I just turned this very negative word actually into something rather positive, okay? Um, being cheated, I don't like feeling cheated but also it like drives me, right? Being cheated also motivates me. It makes me wanna prove people wrong. It makes me wanna excel. So here again, I've taken this negative word and I've turned it into three positives actually. Um, sometimes it's more hard, it's harder to um, ch change those negative words into positives. Like for example, unorganized. I didn't really get to a, a positive place with this word, which is okay right? Being unorganized. Why am I unorganized? Because I'm busy, because I'm unmotivated, because I'm lazy. Um, all of these things, uh, if, if I were to span out again, maybe I could get to a positive, but it would take me a little bit longer to diffuse my unorganized feeling because for me that's like a really big struggle, right? Um, so this is how your map is going to look when you're finished. Um, I just wanted to give you an example of it. So once you um, type all of your boxes into Microsoft Word. Um, you can save your document and then make sure that you submit it to the activity for your points for the day. Um, and if you have any questions, just make sure that you let us know. Okay, have a good day.